Hey, what's going on guys? I'm just downtown in Calgary right now in the Kensington area by the river. And I'm just out here trying to get a street photography shot. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and you can kind of see how I do it. Now, I chose this location for a few reasons. One being, there's usually a decent amount of foot traffic. Um, so, you know, <laughs> that's key if you want to get a shot of a person, right? And there'll be good backgrounds. I'll just turn the camera around here and you can kind of see what I'm working with here. So it's a pretty decent view. And uh, the path right here. As you can see, there's already people moving along it right now. So that will be kind of like the place to do it. So I'm going to go down there, set up a spot and uh, let the fun begin. All right, so I've chosen my spot. I'm at the bottom of the stairs by the path, and uh, now I'll just wait for people to come by. Today I'm shooting with the Nikon D300S and the 51.8D. So uh, I just missed a couple people, a few cops. That would have been good, but uh, let's see where we can get. One of the good things about this spot is I can see who's coming down this direction, and then if I just take a quick peek around the, the side here, I can see another person who's coming that way. The problem with this direction, obviously, is I'm only going to get the backs, maybe if I'm lucky, you know, the sides of them. But I think this is the much better shot because you got the people walking this way, you get the front of their face, and then you get the nice bridge and the city in the background, like I showed you in that uh, pan shot when I came down the stairs. So, we'll see. Sometimes you got to pick and choose your shots. I mean, I, mean, I could have just took a picture of those people. But what's the point of taking the picture if it's not if, if if it's not the type of person that you're looking for for your shot? Then you know you're just I don't know. I guess you're just messing around. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not the type of guy that'll just shoot everything that I see and then hopefully I'll get something. I just wait for the right one and then uh, hopefully that one works out. So if you're into you want to get into street photography, this is part of it. Hanging out waiting around. I mean, it's not always like that though. You can always just walk around. I mean, that's fun too. Like uh, Kai Man Wong on Digital, Reg Digital Rev. He just walks around Hong Kong. You know, that's a fun way to do it too. But you got to be sure you have busy streets. So sometimes it's better just to, uh, well, not better, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different experience if you just want to hang out in one spot. Both can be fun. Both are fun, I should say. But if you're low on time, maybe find a little bit busier of an area. <laughs> you won't have to hang out so much. Where are all the people? You know what's crazy is right before when I was trying to, right before I started shooting, I was getting the framing all right, and the boat was burning that down here. And that's, you don't really see that too often, like it was a fire rescue boat. I got a couple shots. You know what, I'll just throw it up on the screen now. So, uh, yeah, it's rare to see that. It was pretty cool, I wish I had it on video, but uh, at least I got these shots. So while I was setting up, people were zipping by like crazy. Now, of course, that I'm ready, not really many people going by. One guy, not exactly the kind of shot I was looking for, but uh, I'm sure one will come soon. I'm just gonna go out on the edge and see if I can look around the corner. All right, we got a runner coming this way. Now, I would prefer, you know, she was coming this way so I could get the front of her face. I don't know if it's a dude or a chick, whatever. But uh, I'm gonna set myself up over here, try to get the side shot. Actually, I'm a little close for that, so I'll have to get the one from behind going that way. So here's that one. I'll tell you about a funny little trick that I do sometimes when I'm shooting street photography. Well, it's not really much of a trick to be honest with you, but if I can see somebody ways down the way and I know that they're coming, I'll be like standing here 
uh, just like I'm shooting photos of, you know, whatever. So that way, when they come through the frame, it's like, you know, I was already shooting this and then you just kind of keep your face to the camera. And as soon as you see them right where you want them to be, shutter, click, we'll see you. Something to do. That would have been perfect timing. The autofocus hit. I've been let down many a time by this autofocus. Being a noob. All right, so I'm gonna switch locations a bit. I'm thinking I'll just maybe go down there, set the camera up over there, kind of more a little closer to the bridge and see if we can get some shots from there. All right, so that location was all right, but I think that if we move down the way a little bit, uh, maybe we'll have a little bit better luck. Now, it's all hinging on people coming by, so this isn't gonna do anything for that, but uh, you know, kind of getting bored of sitting there anyways. And this way, we can just kind of mix up the day a little bit. All right, now it's a lot more windy at this location, so I'm really hoping that it doesn't make the mic go crazy. I want to zip by way too fast. I can see the people coming this way. Oh, but then I can see them walking away a different way. Break my heart, right? <laughs> Alright, so the battery on my 5D is about to die, so I figure I just better wrap this up real quick. Didn't get anything too spectacular today, but we got a couple all right ones. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. There's a girl running down this way, so I'm gonna see if I can get at least one last shot off, okay? Autofocus is brutal with this lens. Anyways, I got one shot of her, and that's probably my favorite of the day. Here it is. Catch you guys next time.